myself off. But here, I guess we'll just call it a part one and part two. Um, me. I guess getting some closure on the last couple of years of my life. So yeah, I was just, just basically having a lot of fun while doing a lot of like little odd jobs and like um, figuring out what it is exactly I want to do with the rest of my life beyond just music. Um, like more so what I was going to do to pay to create the music and stuff like that because I, I even had like, I've had, uh, everything sounds, I feel so old. I could have, could have been drafted, I uh, could have signed to a record label, but I don't know. I guess it is what it is. Um, I've had like, smaller labels reach out to me and stuff like that um, like talent agencies I love my music but eh, I I prefer it because I mean at the end of the day like all they're doing is advertising and promotion and stuff and like I don't know they're just spending the money so I, I Literally, if you, if I could get it myself, I don't have to worry about the headache of paying back the loans and like more hands than necessary in my royalties and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, in all honesty, if what I had released already or had released at those times was enough to draw their attention. And that gave me like a lot of confidence because I, I myself didn't even take those songs very seriously. I'm like lightly so because um, I, I won't say I was writing to like my recording situation, but I, I wasn't finishing. I don't to this point. I haven't finished like fully finished any songs or anything. Like, technically speaking, everything I release is to the rough draft. Not even for the most part, like, literally everything. Like, maybe some songs are, like, close to finish, I'd say. And I guess it's kind of healthier for the creative process to just do it that way. But, um, I know with more of the right equipment, infrastructure, space, and, like, you know, et cetera, I, I have a lot more um, designs and concepts and like things I want to do with music basically but yeah I guess that's really like the biggest motivational factor for me It might not be like every day I wake up and I want to make music, but like when I do, I go crazy. Like I wanna, like it's nothing else I want to do. It's kind of like if you, if you play a sport, like you might have those days where it's like you don't want to necessarily practice or like train or whatever, but like you do it anyways. But like then on those days when you do feel like it. just that much better, but, I don't know, for music, I don't know, everything is music, so, music can get really, like, way more creative, because it's, like, all mental, as opposed to, like, when you practice for your sport, as much as it's still all mental, it's, Music is more creative. Sort of. Um, that's how I see it, though. Uh, whatever. But okay, like basically, like I don't remember if I heard it or I read it. Like um, world class pianists, when they don't have a piano available, they just like practice like they play the air piano or whatever. 
uh, even just like in their heads, they like play the whole thing. So that's kind of what I'm getting at. Like I don't even really need to like say I don't have the motivation to actually like um, get in front of a mic one day. I mean that's like once I'm done, once I reach the level where I'm comfortable enough to do that, which is also why I've built so many other income sources around the music. I really want it to be as like pure of a creation process as possible. So it really has to be like inspiration driven. That's where the inspiration may be, whether I just wanna whether I'm just inspired to put out a mixtape, an album, a song, a, a Grammy nominated song or album or like um, EP, a compilation, or whatever it may be. Uh, that's just how I look at it. So yeah, I mean, I've always been playing video games, so there's a lot of popularity with Fortnite. But I've been thinking, I've been putting some thought into it and thinking like, if I just play the game I'm already good at. Although they don't attract as many views, can I build a following around it? So, I mean, the theory is there, obviously it makes sense, but... There's also the fun of like, getting better at Fortnite and like watching the progress happen. My controller is all jacked up. So, it makes playing the game that much more difficult, but I guess, like, it makes the grind that much better. I have to get a new controller is what I'm saying, but I even started playing on the keyboard, mouse and keyboard, so. Everything happens for a reason, I guess. Uh, apparently it's faster makes sense and you know obviously niggas grew up grew up on cool math games you guys know Ankin Arcade A-N-K-O-N Arcade dot com that was my that was my online home I used to spend like all day on that website on the weekends and stuff like that uh, miniclip dot com you know you guys know that Know the spots, bro. But, yeah. But, yeah. Just thought I'd turn on the camera and speak. Get better at speaking, I guess. On the camera, I guess. Pretty YouTube, I guess. Cause I don't already make music and stuff, I guess. Yeah, skits. I plan to do so many skits once like my channel is monetized. I have such a problem with like releasing things for no reason that I, I just said if anything it's gonna be video games. So that at least like I don't know. It's just the easiest one. So that's what I did. Yeah, I explained that already in another video, but yeah. Um, but yeah, like I live in this house with all of us. I don't live alone, so um, I wasn't gonna say anything bad, but I just, it was easier to say it like that, putting up to that. Oh. But yeah, I get loud, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna cause a ruckus. But good, it's, oh, it's forcing me to like, find ways to like, scrape the barrel, um, and like, get every, squeeze every ounce of value I can, because I'm just continually, Looking for other ways to accumulate dollars through this YouTube channel, so it's cool. It's, it forces me to learn more and to go more in depth. I've been lacking on the studying recently, but again, like I mentioned in part one, I'm just lacking energy lately. I'm just kind of tired lately. So yeah, I 
think what I'm going to do is give myself a week's vacation. Take a week off of any serious work. I can't really... I doubt I can take a week without posting at least one thing, but... Um, I'm going to go on, like... I'm going to ease up a lot. Myself a bit of a breather for a week. Um, hit the ground running again. But, um, <sighs> yeah, my channel got monetized. What, three, three weeks ago? Almost a month now brought in two hundred dollars. Uh, I would never work a job that paid me two hundred dollars over over a month's spend, but um this is kind of the first time like well this it legally that I've made two hundred dollars by like basically completely by myself, like I guess with the help of YouTube, but the only way to make money is with the help of something or somebody, so yeah, um, but like as my own business, like as my own, like, you know, companized thing, so, type shit, so, I'm not complaining, like, all things, all glory be to God, all things, to Jehovah, for real, for real, because, that's all it is, right, faith in action, I've just been praying and working, and you see, these are the results, I can't really complain, as I mentioned before, like, it's even kind of surreal still to this day, <coughs> Because I was playing video games since I was a kid, you know what I mean? And nobody, nobody was paying me to play video games, so. Here I am now, I'm making dollars from my video games. I'm like, who knows where it's going to take me. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm going to take a break for a week. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just kick it on Fortnite, take a real real easy really weird and with the fitness content Cause I, I honestly don't schedule it or like have any type of um, structure for it I just that's why I specifically called it Seth J Fitness I have other plans regarding the fitness industry but Seth J Fitness is literally just a I guess more motivational content because it's literally just um, as I feel not even necessarily inspired to get up, but like, as I feel like I should, like, disciplinary, as I feel the discipline to at least move a weight or something, I mean, do a couple dips or push-ups, then I get up and I set up my camera and I do that. Um, okay, yeah, I guess that's, like, the purest form, like the rawest form of motivation, or inspiration, not motivation necessarily, inspiration more so, if it was motivational, I'd have some type of, some, yeah, I'd have some type of structure to it, but, um, yeah, I don't even force myself to post daily, I aim to, but, like, I don't stress over it, I don't, I don't stress over it, oh. Mostly because I'm in decent shape. Honestly, entirely because I'm in decent
decent shape as it is, and I have so many other things going on that if I haven't missed a day, I'll just try to make up for it. But I mean, like, as far as my diet goes, uh, um, I'm eating like ramen noodles and stuff right now, so I'm counter up my, my caloric intake. I don't know what, I don't have too much food to burn off, if that makes sense, I don't have a bunch of calories and fat and stuff stored, so like, like I'm not consuming, at a rate where I should be concerned about burning off, if, yeah. That's not to complain or anything. It's kind of by design because I don't know. I, I want to be really successful, so I figured uh, some things are gonna have to take a back seat in the meantime. So here we are. Again, all praise be to God, I have food every day. And I'm getting, I'm getting my nutrients in and all that stuff. And I'm not able to provide for myself. I have a roof over my head, so. And I have things to do, so that's, that's the bottom line. It's just execution. I've even been going through like a mind shift recently. I wonder if I'll even watch this back. There's a lot of talking on these. I don't even like listening to people talk that much. Well, it depends on what they're saying, but... It's kind of like my music. Like, I remember when I first started, I used to, like, cringe so hard. Like, to be fair, it was really low-quality stuff anyways, and I kind of was literally just starting, so it was probably cringier at the in general. But I remember sometimes almost everybody, so I don't know how genuine every, every piece of feedback is, which is a note to, like, basically anybody who creates anything, like, the feedback, you have to, like, really sift through the feedback, because at the end of the day, you, it's like, you know, like, you watch it, you listen to it, whatever it is that you created, you see it, like, you hear it, you feel it, like, you know, so, like, getting feedback is kind of just more, to get, like, a, a general census and uh, opinion, but I mean, for the most part, your opinion is what matters most, and like common sense, common sense will always let you know, like, how much, like, the quality of your work, etc., etc., and like, as you grow as an artist, like, you play, you place like certain values differently on your work and stuff like that, so like, it really does come to a point. It's just you sharing what you like the most, which may or may not be the most popular, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, if you follow my train of thought, then what I'm saying is pretty much more or less common sense. But it's good to hear. Because it's one of those things like, Hearing it from somebody else does make a difference, to be honest. Because um, I remember all I wanted was for people to be as blatantly honest about my work as I was, but then I realized, like, I'm not, I'm going to say dickhead, I'm not a dickhead, but, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm mean, like, and especially with myself, like, I'm my biggest critic, so I guess to expect people to, I guess one, be, like, mean to me, like, expecting, like, as if I wasn't gonna re retaliate, I'm not scary, but, like, I don't know, I guess, roast something about them, and I, but I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't ask for an opinion on something, unless they were rude, then I'd be rude back, but, like, I, I in fact, I'd appreciate it more, like, I, like, if they were 
that blatantly honest, but it is what it is. To be honest, who's to say they weren't? Um, realistically, I don't know. But it's just like, I don't know, especially with music. Music's so easy to like find the discrepancies and critiques because we all know what mainstream music listens to. Like, we have, we've all heard the radio before. So, uh, I guess the most genuine feedback that I used to get when I was first starting was like, to be honest, all you need is a better mic. Some people who knew music a little bit better at that time would like bring up the mixing quality, which like both both those remarks are the most accurate as to what the where the faults lie. And Penmanship, like, from my age, I'd say it was exceptional, to be honest. That's one thing I never really felt I had a problem with that, like, I uh, uh, humbly, whatever, um, but at creative writing, and, like, just writing in general, so, the flow, the flow of, like, how I, um, how I conveyed the lyrics, could have used work as anything because it wasn't like I wasn't I was mimicking some of what I liked or like what I heard in like from artists that I liked but like a lot of the time I was getting like a little bit more creative so I was I was like um, manipulating instrumentals and beats and stuff lyrics. But to be honest, even now I look I listen back to like some of the stuff I made when I was like 14, 15, 16. I like it now. <laughs> but that's I guess that's like making your own cooking like can be can be controversial, so yeah, I guess I just take common sense into Into consideration and I stay kind of conservative with it because I know it's probably not in most people's taste, especially like because some of the song, the ones that people did tell me they liked, I, I still, I to this day still don't really like. It's funny, it's weird. Like anybody who, to this day, who's gotten close enough to me to like talk about like my music process and stuff or whatever, whatever, yeah, it always comes up, like, I always end up saying, it's funny, because, like, the songs that people tend to tell me they like are the ones that I'm the most iffy about, but the ones that I, like, my favorite songs that I've created, people tend not to like as much, so, that's just how it's been going, since I started making music. I don't remember why I got into that tangent. Who knows, maybe that's what I'll do this week. Maybe I'll just kick back. Uh, use some KS beats and record a couple mixes. That's all before September ends. I wanna Oh, uh, so maybe so maybe not. Maybe now's not the time to really take a break. I just have to work while on vacation type shit. I was saying something about my $200 currently in the bank of YouTube. So, yeah. Yeah, and I, was, I was watching a Luke Belmar video the other day. This guy said he posted like 150,000. I thought I was going to go with like 28,000. This guy said he posted like 150,000 videos in a year or something like that. And I realized I gotta step it up. I gotta step it up. Video every four minutes is nuts. So. 
but it makes sense though like of all the creators out there I mean, you kind of have to do stuff like that to stand out so like literally like even say even if you post like a really good video for like you only do it like once a month or so like somebody posting like decent to like above decent content a lot more often is obviously gonna um, outperform as far as analytics and statistics go on the platform speaking solely on the platform I know YouTube's that multi, multi-purpose. Like, um, can literally use it just to um, grow your own outside business or whatever. So, yeah. Again, it's all just about how you play the game, I guess. sound tired like I'm speaking tired like I'm pausing for like 30 seconds in between words trying to find the word anyways anywho This is actually more fun than I thought it was, though. Just, just literally this. Just recording and talking. Just hitting recording and speaking. And you can't get drafted at 40 years old, but like, in fact, quite frankly, I'm saying, like, if you play mind so you can, so I don't know, that's how I look at it. I guess it does depend on what sports, not even, like, I don't know. I, I really wanted to see Mike Tyson and Logan Paul fight. Maybe I'm a bad person for that because I feel like Mike Tyson would have uh, done some unspeakable things to him. But, uh, and honestly, not even because, more so because it, it's Mike Tyson. Like I just wanted to see Mike Tyson like beat somebody up again. Like, to be completely honest, I get really um. Uh, no freaky shit like I don't know how to I'm gonna say like fetishize over it but no 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 it's just the essence of the uh, and I get amped or like really excited sure yeah, I'm gonna just say that but like that's a word it's an actual word it's like you know watching your favorite athlete or like okay like you know how like some girls have their favorite artists and they like get really fanned out about like seeing them perform live or like at, at all or something like that. Yeah, basically like the male version of that with like my favorite athletes. And like my favorite athletes are basically all the legendary ones. Like as long as you're a legendary athlete, you're kind of you're kind of that status in my books. I just like seeing greatness. So. So, yeah, that's all that was. I just wanted to see Mike Tyson be great again. 
especially in this current form. Uh, yeah, I like seeing all the training videos and all that stuff. I was, I was getting geeked. But, yeah, the fight never happened, so I guess God spared. I don't even remember if it was Jake Paul or Logan Paul. What, whoever, is, whoever it was, he spared their life. If you ask me. kind of scary to me. That's a not at all what I meant.
Okay, now I'm going to make a parking lot over here. I'll go here first, so I'll come back and run a parking lot. Improve your environment, improve your aura, improve yourself. Like, yeah. That was off the bone. I'm not joking. I'm joking, man. Like a lactose intolerance that since I defeated it. 
feel good if that makes sense. They talk a little bit too for a while. And then it didn't. So I guess I guess I just bullied myself in, into developing lactose tolerance. I think everybody is lactose intolerant until they man up, basically. I, I think that's actually just how your body responds to lactose or lactate or whatever it is. I don't know. I try to make content with kids in mind, but it, I'm not a pedophile, so I'm joking.